when do you think the owner and the coaching staff knew that Andrew Luck was going to do this? Dan, I was at practice uh, a week ago Thursday. Uh, they were scrimmaging the Browns. I was out there. Andrew wasn't uh, working full team with the team. He was working like a maniac. He's on boxes and doing these uh, agility drills and doing his pass sets and throwing balls a thousand miles an hour. I talked to him for five minutes and you could see the frustration that he wasn't out there, but I, I left my five minutes thinking, you know, maybe not week one, but week two, week three, he'll definitely be there. Peyton was there the same day. Peyton talked to him for about 30 minutes and they're talking about, you know, recovering from injuries and all the things Peyton went through. And he came away with the same thing that this guy is so close to being there. So I, I don't think any of us saw that now. Now, Frank, Reich told me that, that Andrew was going through some frustrations with his injuries. Why is this ankle not healing? But I don't think anybody really saw this coming until maybe this past week. We don't even know about the injury, Tony. I don't know the severity. Is there surgery? Why wasn't it responding? I mean, they're, they're... Well, I, I think that's the frustration in his mind. What, what is going on with this? I've done all this work. Uh, it should be better. It should be perfect. It isn't. What What is really going on? And, and I think that was really part of it is that I, I'm not sure what's happening with my body right now. Let me put you in Frank Reich's position here. And Andrew Luck comes in and he says that he wants to retire. You, you know, you have this player that, you know, you're invested in in a variety of ways and you have a job here and you're trying to, you got a Super Bowl quality team, but what, what would you say to Andrew Luck if he came in and said what he said to Frank Reich? Well, what, what I would say is, hey, let's make sure that this isn't a quick emotional reaction. I understand your frustration, Andrew. You've got these injuries. and You're thinking, am I ever going to be 100%? Maybe I'll be playing this season. Maybe I'll be playing the rest of my career at, at 90% or 85%. But you know what? That's still good enough to get us to the Super Bowl. Now, I, I want you to do that. If you don't think you can and you don't want to play at that level or there is this pain management that you're dealing with, I understand that. We're going to support you. But give me give me four or five days to think about this and, you know, let, let, let's let see where where it goes. And maybe that's what happened. Maybe that, that's what they did. Because when I saw him, I'm telling you, he was working out like a crazy man. It just it 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 feels reactionary, but then there's also part of this that knowing Andrew Luck, I'm guessing that he's he spent a lot of time before making this decision. I don't oh, think I it was promise you he did. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, I, yeah. This is something, and maybe it started with the shoulder injury, you know, a couple of years ago, where he missed the whole season. I, I don't know, but yeah, this was not just a. I woke up yesterday and I decided I'm I'm going to retire. This is a bigger deal because it's a quarterback, a quarterback in his prime, a number one pick overall, a guy who has made money, was going to make a whole lot more money, as opposed to, you know, Gronk retires and nobody's going, you know, we, we might go, oh, he might come back. But, you know, they, it, it feels like people got angry at Andrew Luck. Can you explain? They did. They did. And the suddenness of it, I think, and unexpected. I, I remember, Dan, though, and I think I told you about this. I'm coaching in Tampa and talking to Barry Sanders uh, before a game. I said, you're just haunting me. My whole, I was in Minnesota. <laughs> now I'm in, I can't get away from you. You get 200 yards every time we play you, you know, and he told me, he said, one of these days you're going to look up and I'm not going to be there. And he gained 18 and 1900 yards and then just stepped away. And it was crazy, but you know, he, it's something he had been contemplating and the money didn't mean anything to him. He was close to Jim Brown's record. That didn't mean anything. It was just time to go. The, the joy of the game had left, and he was gone. And, and it, it reminds me of the same thing. It's a little more sudden with Andrew and the fact that he went to training camp yeah. uh, before. I think that's what got people thrown off. Had he said this a, a day before coming to camp, maybe more people would have understood it and, and taken it a little better. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.